Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another tutorial video. This is the second tutorial that I'm doing and uh, yes, uh, this tutorial is on how to install and use Xandronum for my live streams. Now if you guys don't know, um, last live stream, or actually I've had this idea for a while now, I said that I would teach you guys how to install Xandronum so that we can play do mods on stream. Uh, yeah, this is that video, so um, just follow the instructions, then you'll have Xandronum in like 10 minutes, so uh, let's see. Alright, so first, uh, we don't need uh, Firefox yet, but you just want to create a folder. Uh, like on your desktop or wherever you want. It doesn't matter, the name doesn't matter, but um, I named it Xandronum Tutorial. You just need an empty folder. Then you're gonna wanna go to Google and uh, search Xandronum, like so. You gotta go to xandronum.com and then you're gonna, you're just gonna go to downloads. Now, once you're here, you're gonna wanna go all the way down here and uh, go to development builds where it says development builds and just press archive for 64 bit or just archive if you have a 32-bit device and then you're just gonna download the zip into this folder then you're gonna extract it and boom you now have Xandronum in this folder now um, this is just a source port so that you can run doom 2 on your computer but we don't have doom 2 so here's how you get it don't worry you don't have to buy it off steam you search doom 2 what and I used this website when I first started playing um, many moons ago um, <laughs> Uh, a couple hundred actually this website right here. I'm gonna link it in the description, but yeah legit you just scroll down and then you click download doom 2 wad file and boom you just save it in the same folder and there you go. All right, you're not ready to go. You can run Xandronum. But wait, you need something else. You're gonna wanna go to doomseeker.drdteam.org slash download.php. I'm gonna link this in the description as well. And you're gonna wanna download Doomseeker for Windows right here. So, um, yeah. Just click the first one and download it into here. This is uh, gonna be our server browser, if you will. I have it right here. Then you just extract it in the same place as your Xandronum. And now it may look messy, but don't worry, it's gonna get worse. Um, <laughs> you don't need this zip anymore. But yeah, now it just runs Xandronum. So this menu may pop up and uh, it basically wants you to select uh, what iWad you wanna run. You wanna run Doom 2. Um, personally, I use uh, hardware OpenGL, and this just looks best, so click this and then click full screen. If you don't want to be queried again, you can just tick this, but yeah. Then you can just run it, and it's gonna take a bit of time to load, but yep, you should be in. Alright, and then you should be booted straight into the Doom 2 main menu. Here's what you have to do. So, you can control using your arrow keys and enters to switch menus. Some loud music may play, but don't worry. So you press enter. And then you're gonna go you're just gonna go down here to sound options and just set that to zero. You don't need to change anything else here. Then you're gonna wanna go to set video mode and then just pick your uh, computer's resolution. Personally I use 1920 by 1080, so um yeah. Boom! Alright, then you're gonna want to go into Customize Controls. We're gonna need to change some things here. Your fire and your alt fire should be mouse 1 and mouse 2, like so. Use and open is E, that's good. Jump should be space. And you're, you're just basically ready here. Activate item. You're gonna need this for your, like, ultimates. Ultimate abilities in GVH Multiverse. Personally, I have this set to middle mouse button just because it's the most comfy. Then for next item and previous item, you can just use these these two buttons right here on your, on your mouse. I just have them set to these two buttons because they're the easiest to like access but yeah you should be done here pressing new game just drops you into vanilla doom 2 so uh, who cares about this but you're gonna want to open the dev console by pressing your apostrophe key kind of like in gary's mod and then you're just gonna want to bind this key bind x fav 120 now what this did is that every single time I press X, it's just gonna increase my FOV, and it just makes playing far easier. Um, <laughs> but yeah, now you can just play Vanilla Doom too if you want, it really doesn't matter. But yeah, you're basically done here. Once you've done all these things, then you're good to go. Let me just uh, slash kill real quick. And uh, yeah, you're gonna have to press X each time you respawn. It's just the comfiest way to do it. If you don't want FOV, then don't buy this key. Alright, now that you got your Xandro all set up, we can open Doomseeker. It's right here. I don't need this Xandro copy, so I'm just gonna delete it because I personally have my own. Oh yeah, and another thing, if you go into options and click on player setup, you can change your name and your player color. This just changes the color of your avatar. 
And this menu is also really important when you're playing a mod like Ghouls vs. Evens Multiverse because uh, here you can choose the many classes which you're gonna play as. But yeah, you can do a bunch of stuff here if you want. You can also bind the key for spectating, like if you want to auto-spectate, you can just press G. And the taunt key, I have it set to R. Alright, now you're just about ready to go, so you're gonna want to open Doomseeker. I have it set right here. You might want to pin the Doomseeker executable um, in your taskbar, like right here. Then you're just gonna want to click this little button right here. This basically paths your Xandronum, so uh, just open up uh, the executable tab right here and find your Xandronum exe file. So yeah, you should be good there. And here you can find all sorts of different servers, um, wow, there's a lot. <laughs> and yeah, there's all sorts of different mods here if you care about those. But for example, I'm just gonna show you guys, uh, how to play Ghouls vs. Humans. So you're just gonna want to search up Ghoul. This just opens up every single Ghoul server that there is. Right now, Multiverse isn't hosted, but there's like different versions, different fan mods of the original Ghouls vs. Humans which you can play. Let's go into Legacy of Darkness. So all you gotta do to join a server is double click it, and then you're gonna be prompted to install a few mods, so let's do that. This takes a bit, but it, it shouldn't take that long. Almost done. And there we go. And then you'll be instantly booted into the server. If not, then you'll be prompted. All right, apparently this server runs on 3.1. Oops. Ghouls vs. Humans Multiverse runs on Xandro number 3.2, so that's why I uh, chose that one. Let me try to get into another server. Oh, this is a 3.2 server. Nice. All right, so this is what a game of GVH normally looks like. There's many maps, and this is one of them. Right now, I'm spectating, so I can't really do all that much um, other than flying around. You press space to join, and then you're uh, prompted with this menu. Ghouls vs. Humans is a TLMS game, Team Last Man Standing. Think of it as TDM and Item Asylum, except it's not Deathmatch and it's Last Man Standing. Last Team Standing, essentially. You can join either the human or ghoul team. You can pick your class in the player setup menu, as I've said before, I have it set to random by default, but yeah, here are all the playable humans in the mod. And here's the ghouls. Yeah. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to be playing as Marie, a base human. I'm going to just teach you how this works. So you press join game, and here you can also pick your class, I'm Marine. And, uh, yeah, you have three different weapons, and you essentially shoot the bad guys. That's all you do, literally. It's not that hard of a game. Owie. It's actually pretty goddamn fun. Now, the ghoul team. There's many ghouls which you can play as, and you have to fight the humans. I'm gonna play as the Jaws, a base ghoul. Every single class functions differently, and you can learn as you play. Anyways. Oh. There we go. Also, I have Z toggled to the auto map, so I guess you can bind that as well if you want. As the Jaws, you only have one weapon, and you can fly around. As the Jaws, you just do like a little close range scream, which does a lot of damage. Here's what binding mouse 2 is useful for. A bit of a special ability. This one reflects projectiles. And your ultimate ability, you summon in this little orb, and the next time you take damage, you'll teleport back to it. For example, like not all classes function this way. But yeah, that's everything. So now you know how to install Xandronum, and um, primarily we'll be playing Ghouls vs. Humans Multiverse, which has like almost a hundred classes, so it's gonna be fun. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you in game. Bye guys.